Alright guys, this is Dokken with another Minecraft video. You heard it! And today, this is episode 5 of the Minecraft World Tour. Hey Doc Camera, what's up man? <laughs> yeah guys, I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Look at that. Uh -huh. Secret entrance. I've been working on the grid. Um, doing lots of stuff and now I'm basically ready to locate the stronghold. Um, we should find out where it is so we can get to the next phase. But before we do that, I want to give you a little progress report what I've done until now. So see you in a bit guys. Lots of stuff. Yeah guys, I've been mining for two and a half hours or something, digging out the trenches and tunnels and I'm rich. <laughs> I'm freaking rich. Let's get back and right now I'm connecting the outside tunnels of the grid. Just want to give you a little heads up. This is what I got, 59 diamonds already. Mostly, yeah, done with the efficiency uh, pickaxe which is worn out but haha. -ha, Look at my experience bar, 30. So, yeah, let's bring the diamonds up. And let's see, I have more chests now in here, like all filled up with cobble. And the third one now, let's fill it in. And uh, also the dirt, let's try to bring up as many resources as possible. But redstone wise, iron, the grid it was a great idea. It's almost like the perimeter. I mean, I feel, I feel rich. I feel like resources everywhere. And also, you know, I'm really... For me, I never did excessive mining in 1.3.2 um, where you really could benefit from the XP. And it's just great. I mean, now I'm up at level 30 again, come up here rich, almost a stack of diamonds. And I'm able to enchant the next pickaxe hoping for um, yeah efficiency and fortune again the last one we're working with our unbreaking one I mean it's okay for digging whatever it's not the best one but I didn't have a better one but now that can change let's feed the cows we need to breed them all right and let's see, here's the redstone chest which is filling up like crazy. Ha ha ha, we need to use it, sweet. Diamonds galore. I need to make a coal chest now, I'm gonna take these over with me. Yeah, wow. Really getting rich. I'm so settled in now, can't wait to go to the end. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Just kill two skeletons. <laughs> don't want to kill too much. I don't want to waste uh, XP. Get my enchantment done now. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. No more unbreaking three. I'll take anything, but... <gasps> Hello, sir. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Holy freaking, I need to close that hole. Finally. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. Ah, yeah. Why no fortune? Ugh. Okay, but I said a good efficiency and un breaking is also nice. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Will help me dig, but I want fortune. Um, hmm. So I, I don't think I will grab any diamond until I get a fortune pickaxe again. Maybe I can try on iron, some lower enchantments, but it's okay. I'll go back. I need to do some digging. Well, 
One important thing is, of course, we have to get our hands on slams. And I use the Slime Finder app. I will provide a link in the video description. And with the Slime Finder app, I found out between X162 or 160 and X192, that's two chunks. And the same in this direction, so Z coordinate up to 192. Those two, four chunks in there, um, three of them are slime chunks and that is really good, all connected, so we should be able to create a lot of slimes from here and also make an automated slime farm, maybe multiple levels. I'm still down at diamond layer as you can see and I'm digging away with my new pickaxe and yeah, now I'm going to excavate all that, make it too high for now and then make the ceiling higher. Um, just want to make sure we're in the correct spot. Hopefully, uh, see some slams around soon. And um, we need to light up the place and yeah, make it slam friendly so they can appear. But I hope the I measured it out correctly and didn't mess up with the counting. But I think that should be it. We have slam. Sweet. Oh didn't drop a slime ball but that's the proof I needed um, we were correct slime can spawn in here just nice I'm digging it out making it four or five high so I can fit the lighting in the ceiling for now we just go with a torch lighting in the ceiling I don't want to waste any spawning spots on the floor I'm gonna replace the complete fo floor with cobble got a ton of it now and another slime back there sweet we got spawning going. <laughs> Slime balls. Best thing. Here's my cobble chest. Soon need more, huh? Yeah. So I'll dig that out. I'm not even sure if we need a two layer system as we have three slime junks in here. Normally that does pretty good. So, I don't know if I really want to make it multiple layers, maybe two, just for the sake of it, just to make it a bit more epic. Oh, there's some diamond here somewhere in the ceiling, right there. Maybe we can get that one together. I still don't have no um, fortune, but, well, this needs to go anyways. So let's grab it, four more diamonds. Yeah, and I'm gonna hollow out the area here, make it look a bit more clean, like the floor and stuff. As I said, cobble for now. Or even, we could even go for a nice leg spike, <laughs> stone brick floor actually in here. Why not? We could cook some up. Would look nice. Got tons of cobble. Yeah, I think I do that. Haha. <laughs> That's the stuff we like to see. Ow. You. They're really dangerous. They're dangerous now. Ow. Stop. Die. Ah, yes. Sla Ooh, another one around the corner. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's sweet. That's how far I am at the moment. Digging out the ceiling. And I think we will go with a one level design for now. I don't think we need two levels. Yeah, need to finish digging out the ceiling. I'm at level 21 already and maybe you see all the resources in the wall and floor. If I grab them all, you might be able to enchant the next pickaxe right away or be really close. So yeah, it all comes together just fine. Yeah! Oh, ah! <laughs> you green little bastard. 
Well guys, um, I'm there, I'm there level 30, almost, yeah, came together perfectly, let me see. Such a hard time hitting these bums. Yeah. So yeah, um, I want to kill off these guys and then we can have a look inside. Oh yeah, that's, that's a bunch of slime balls, we should have enough slime balls get a lot of sticky pistons going now. Oh, that was a lot already. Ah, I just love slime farms. You're gonna automate that thing. That's obvious. Well, that's what we got so far. I replaced the complete floor. Oh, there's another one in the corner there. I replaced the complete floor with the yeah, smooth stone slabs and Horrible, horrible things. <laughs> um, and I'm also working on a second floor. Um, let me quickly kill these guys. Come on, split up. So yeah, um, I'm. I will put in a ceiling lighting. That will be made from glowstone, probably. I'll put it in here. Um, yeah, diagonal shape probably, just need to make sure it's bright enough so we don't have any hostile mobs spawning in here. The moment we got the torches, that always takes away spawning space, so we want to max out the efficiency. And here I started already, this is the second layer, um, yeah, dug out the tunnel, so I will go for a two layer system, that's it. I think that should be good enough, just dug it out all the way to back here so we got the same and we'll have a two wide um, floor in there um, yeah so because um, if I stick the glowstone what the, if I stick the glowstone in the ceiling and I have another floor on top that will take away spawning space so we'll take glowstone and I think that'll be fine and yeah we made it to level 30 again um, not only by mining but also by cooking up a lot of the smooth stone and I'd say we should go back to the surface and enchant us another pickaxe alright let's go for it one two three four five six seven boom oh what oh it must be the most unlucky enchanting streak ever. Are you serious? I'm breaking two times in a row. I'm breaking three. Oh, that sucks so bad. All right, I'm going to take a break from digging now. That's for sure. Um, I think we should start making the secret entrance for the pig breeder. Should have a lot of slime balls. 40. I think I already dropped a few. Yeah, almost a stack. That's cool. So let's get us pistons going. Visitor. Yeah, light up the place. Alright guys, I'm laying out the redstone for the secret door. And I think I got all parts together, just tested it out. And I think it works. Let's knock out the floor here again so you can see. Okay, first part is gonna be that tree here. The tree um, holds the button, which is facing towards the hill and yeah. It is um, the way we hide our button. Um, the button is down here. There's a piston, sticky piston, below the tree right there. Oh, there's a green guy. Oh, man. No way. Ah. How 
annoying is that? Dang it. Oh well, he didn't blow up the redstone. That is key. That's easy, that's just dirt. <laughs> okay, so when I press this button, piston extends, we get another block on there, and you can see down here is a T flip flop. We need that to control the door later on. So let's test it. Press the button. Uh, I have a shovel and knock it out with my sword. Oh well. And block swapped St on that side now. Which is over. So this way we're gonna control the door and there's two parts to the door. There's that piston here in the floor. I haven't connected it yet. You can see it right there. And there's the top piston with the door mechanism. And that's here. And to power that it's just experimental. We got the lever, redstone, one tick delay, and power. Those are two sticky pistons in the wall. We only need two as we only control the top half of the door. Let's get in there. You can see it right here. There's a sticky piston, dirt, and behind that the two sticky pistons to control the whole thing. And if we flick the lever, <laughs> a bit more difficult with all the holes here, top part of the door is closed, flick it again, we open it. And later on of course we can fill in there, make it look a bit more pretty. I mean you see the piston and the dirt block. And now I need to wire it all together. Just connect this piston, the top piston, and I think, I don't know, we might go up here somewhere to connect it. Yeah, so I'll dig around and I'll finish that and yeah, I got some trees planted here. The creeper blew a little portion of it up, but first this ugly hole needs to be fixed. <laughs> Alright, haha, <laughs> that is done. Let's try it out. I need to fill it in nicely here so nothing spawns, but all is connected. Um, down there you can see that's a T flip flop as explained and here we got the redstone line coming up. It hits that piston here and then goes up and I just tried to use a spiral staircase so we don't use, oh, I just thought there was a creeper, too much uh, delay in there and it just comes up from back here. You can see it coming through, just goes up, connects and yeah, goes to our piston setup and if you look at it again you can see it nicely from here how it is done here two sticky pistons facing outward and then you got the repeater there on top of the pistons the redstone and this line needs to be powered as well and it's important that you power the setup from this side from the side um, yeah where um, the repeater still follows up in the in the um, uh, redstone set up here. See it? Don't connect it directly here. You have to power it from this side. Otherwise it won't work. So let's try it out. Should be cool now. There it is. Totally invisible. Voila. We open up the door and can get inside. Next thing I need to do is fixing the piston back there, but yeah, we'll do that. I'll pretty up the place. Whoop. <laughs> make it look uh, a bit better and then oop, we should be ready for the next phase. I want to locate the fortress as well today. There must be a stronghold close by. Okay, that is fixed as well. Mm, lowered the sticky piston here for one block and now we got a full block in there and that should be fine now. Let's hide it again. Yep, all cool looks way better here. You can't see that there's a, a door. Cool. Let's kill these here. Sweet. Oh, aha, uh -huh, that's bad. I thought so. Do we get drowny pigs back there? I doubt it was just because it was 
permanently flooded. Let's let's test it. Made it up here just fine. Also made it fine. Glitched out. Should be all cool. I think it was just a malfunction. We normally not should lose anything. I see one pig stuck up there. Let's watch it. It's drowning. What is it doing? Is it in there for real? <gasps> What the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Revenge. That calls for revenge. Oh, that hurts so bad. You son of a... First of all, we need to trap those guys in there. So at least they have two up. Oh, okay. Fixing time. And while I'm at it, I can have a look at the water streams. <laughs> wow. That was mean. What the heck? Seriously? Don't even have enough sand. I need to make me a sand generator, that's for sure. Oh, by the way, talking about that, we need to get Arnold back, man. Totally unrelated, but I saw some cats over there. We need to go for a hunt for Arnold. Yeah, man, I'm missing the buddy. 20. Fixed. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> um... Here, I also redid the water streams now. I widened the whole construction by one block and now we have a diagonal stream coming in um, towards us that should be faster and more safe. Should work perfectly. I have to test it out um, when we get more pigs. But for now, we'll leave that be. I'm spending enough time around here. I'm done. Maybe I need a way to close the door from, ins from inside, that should be very simple. Just connect it to the T-flip-flop. Yeah, I'll probably do that. That's so annoying, never want to get creepered again like that. But yeah, it sharpens my instincts. <laughs> wow, that tree is awkward. Need to chop that down. Yeah, and the tree was gone. <laughs> Wood situation looking better right now. You can see the redstone. Let's put the wood in here. Get quite a lot. By now, um, later on I want to build a cool fully automated tree farm. Maybe we can implement the wither. Um, but yeah, I have to wait. Uh, I'm not gonna use the snapshots probably until update 1.4 actually comes out. Let's have a look at the pig breeder. This is the secret door. And it's obviously too dark in here, not a problem, just discovered, so we need to take care of the light situation. Thank god that was no creeper. <laughs> if that thing blew up a second time, I would freak out. Okay, so for now I'd say we just put some torches here. I um, want to work with glowstone, definitely later on in this area. Let's put two more torches just to be safe. And yeah, as I said, I fixed the water streams here. Um, we can get in there now, <coughs> changed it again a little bit, but when the water is flowing here, I tested it. We create that current and normally all mobs should be pushed in here, should work out no problemo. So that build I consider finished. Um, yeah, well, only thing that's missing is some appropriate lighting, but yeah. Glowstone, I want to get Silk Touch to harvest Glowstone, I just like that. The best, I don't even like it with a fortune, 
because it just takes forever. <coughs> yeah. Here are my two unbreaking pickaxes. Um, my two other almost used up ones I'm storing down at the grid at the moment. And I'd say we quickly run over there and check out um, the progress down in the grid because you couldn't see it in the footage um, you just saw. That was footage I recorded in the last two days. Um, you know, um, I've been working a lot in here, many hours. Um, but that's just the way the world tour is. You cannot expect it daily, but you can expect I'm always taking giant steps. So here we are now. Those are my two better pickaxes I had so far, keeping them. And for the unbreaking ones, I might use up that one a little bit and then just merge them together and try again. I don't know. Just don't like unbreaking. <laughs> You know, the good thing about unbreaking is that the pick lasts long, but that's also the bad thing. <laughs> if you can have efficiency, way better. So, um, those are the main tunnels, you remember, reaching out in all four directions. And um, let me see. I'm not quite sure if I walk down the right branch, so we can also have a look at the slime farm, but I think we already missed it. But... I can show you what I've done on the back sides here. So basically 150 blocks in that direction, 150 blocks in that direction and done the same thing. I Actually we could walk it. Hopefully I've connected these the sides. Yeah, you can see there's some cobble in the walls. I've been tearing out the resources from these tunnels here and also of course came across a bunch of caves where I did some exploring. You can see one up ahead here. Um, also found quite a bunch of diamonds in here, but didn't go far yet. I tried to focus uh, on the progress here for the grid. And yeah, so next phase, yeah, you see lots of lots of cave around. Didn't run into a spawner yet. So yeah, and here we go, connected it to the other side. All the way. And then we yeah, come back to the to the main hub. So all the way along the wall to the left side there will be tunnels. Um, I have to figure out how I want to put them in. Um, we want to put them in in a smart way so we don't have um, to do a lot of work but cover as much as possible. And this is basically where I stopped now and also worked on the other side halfway done. I have to go towards that direction still. And then yeah, another 150 blocks back to the center. Um, I think starting with a dedicated branch mine like that or a grid mine or whatever how you want to call it is a really good idea. Um, very helpful and I'm loaded with resources now. I mean diamond wise no problem at all. Obviously we have some enderman action down here. <laughs> um, yeah, These blocks are used to mark, I think no, that one was placed by me which tunnels I already did. And if we go back here, I remember now, not too far, there is the slime farm area. Um, I think, um, talking about um, uploads, <laughs> downloads, not talking about it at all, totally unrelated, the next world download will probably be in episode 7 or so, when I made a little bit more progress around here. Oh, and yeah, here is the slime junk as well probably have to do something about the spawning here um, but if you go back here for a few blocks <coughs> voila we arrive in the actual slime spawning area um, we got void fog down here later on I might add some pot lights to get rid of that so we have better visibility and yeah we'll have water trenches on the outside fully automate the thing the ceiling is partially done but also need glowstone for that to make it better and there's the second second layer here so this is what we got um, so far and now I'd say yeah just a little storage room I have storing up the cobble and things I'll, um, yeah already prepared an infinite water source for the further build progress later on I need to dig up straight here and locate the place I um, come to the surface I haven't really checked it out <laughs> while we're at it <coughs> it could kill that thing and yeah now I'd say um, we should try to locate the fortress 
um, there must be a stronghold. I always say fortress. What I mean is, of course, a stronghold because I want to locate the nether portal at least, or the end portal today. <laughs> nether end. I want to locate the end portal in a stronghold. That is a goal for today and next episode we might be already be there and fight the dragon. So, yeah. Heavy steps, big steps. <laughs> Alright, I'll get prepared. Alright, actually we don't need much. Um, I want to put an enchantment on my iron sword here. Just random. Doesn't matter what I get. Knock back. Alright. So, that is invested. Maybe I can put a level 1 on my worn-out iron helmet I got going on. Um, some people are asking about why I don't use uh, armor or I should use more armor and die less. Well, actually, I'm not um, not dying that much, um, I have to say. And yeah, it's just I like it better um, when there's a bit more of a challenge. Face it. I mean, if you aqua affinity, <laughs> if you fully ironed up, I mean and fully geared up even with diamond armor for example nothing can kill you almost I mean and then it's really almost boring so yeah that's I like feather falling boots and a nice aqua affinity helmet or respiration helmet actually that's what I like so I can work everywhere and don't die from drops because that is something that happens to me often I'm not focused then forget to hold shift and fall off high cliffs and stuff and that's a bit annoying, that's a flaw in my gameplay, so I need to compensate that. <laughs> Where did we put our eyes of the end? I got one more ball, I'll leave it here for now. We're gonna try our luck with these 10. And I think, yeah, I'll take some wood with me. And maybe, I don't know, the slime balls leave here. More food, yeah, I'll, I'll get some, some stuff together and then we get going. I'm almost done with the preparations. Made me a brewing stand and want to get some speed potions going. That's always helping um, for exploration. I doubt the um, stronghold is too far away. Spawn is right um, to the left side there. And normally the strongholds are somewhat close to the spawn. So let's see. Good, we got three nice speed potions going on. And got some more water I think I'm gonna get me six speed potions that should be good enough and then you can get going 10 eyes um, you don't use you don't need much you know um, you can basically get it with three um, or two if you are a bit smart but the point is don't throw too often throw it up see where it goes and follow for a hundred blocks or so and then throw again so you don't waste too many and that's what I want to try thing is I'm on an island so I definitely need a boat um, I don't think there's a stronghold on the island uh, I guess I would have hit it somehow um, while I was digging around so yeah when it is in the water my ender eyes can fall down and um, water can be deep and I could lose them which um, would not be perfect but yeah I had to watch out a bit and then it should be doable maybe we have enough then to even fill in the portal right away we'll see all right we're good to go so uh-huh in that direction good 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 let's get the pearl bag I'd say Okay, this direction, so I immediately get a boat and we sail around the corner to the other side of the island and see where it leads to. I doubt it's on the island, so this direction. So I'm gonna go around the portal rock there, floaty rock, and meet you back there. Okay, other side of the bay. Okay, keeps on going that way. Oh no, now the stress starts. Good, I got the aqua affinity one. See, that's what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh. oh, swim up. Mm. 
to dive for it, can't see it. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Grab it. Swim up. Swim up. Yeah. Oh boy, this will be painful. Mm. Okay, let's see. We're heading in direction one. And we are at... Okay, I'm gonna go to X zero. Back to spawn. Hmm. No, actually not. Spawn is that way. All right. See ya. I just threw another one and it still was pointing in direction one. So we reached land here. But it looks like a small island. Yeah. Small island. Let's see. Okay. Keeps on pointing in direction one. Mm. Now it points me in a completely different direction. I was riding that way for quite a bit and now I'm suddenly going a completely different direction. What was that? Underwater ravine. I'm pretty close to the island again. So it looks like now we're heading that way. Kind of. Yeah. Like we went completely the opposite way. There you can see one of the floating rocks, but we went in direction one and now we. leads us in direction three now. So basically the opposite direction. I don't know. Okay, I'll I'll keep on searching. Oh, there's land ahead. Let's toss another one. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Still. Did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm perfecting the skills of collecting the the eyes by now. <laughs> so over there, that looks like another extreme hills biome to me. Let's see. River, is it river? Looks like an ocean. River, ocean, yeah, it's ocean again. Weird. And extreme hills. All right, 450. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. I think I go up on the mountain or something. Throw it again. New land. I see. Okay, let's let's throw it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It went into the mountain. Into the mountain? Are you kidding me? Why did you do that? Does that mean there's a stronghold around? That sucked. Oh man, why? I lost another one. Give me my... Uh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna go up on the mountain and try again. Okay, top of the mountain here. <laughs> Creeper just blew up. Let's see. think we should dig. Definitely think we should dig around here. I don't want to throw another one now, I'll just give it a try, but that looked like the one went into the mountain or hillside here, and then we have another one. I should have brought some TNT so we can look, but oh well. Let's dig down. And see. I heard silverfish noise. 
I'm 100% positive. Ah! You hear it? You see it? Ah, yes! That looks like a stronghold to me. Ha <laughs> Point blank! Wow! That was precise. Holy cow. Sweet, that worked out perfectly. Like when I think back, when I first look at, was looking uh, for my first stronghold, it took me forever and I was wasting so many pearls because I was constantly throwing them. Wow! So there's the portal. I don't want to waste the mossy and cracked blocks here. Let's try to go down on the side. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! When I just think about all the trouble Isa's been having with his silverfish farm, I don't even want to think about making one. Although it's really tempting to do something with these buggers. Maybe at least... Oh no! Farm XP from them. Die! <laughs> it's funny, you can feel the, the trouble come in when you hit the blocks and it feels awkward. To mine them. Alright, so here's the portal. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got eight. We got eight. Are you kidding me? No, why did I? Oh, I have this one ender pearl back there. It would have been enough. Oh, I think I got one back. Didn't we have seven? I have to um, watch the footage. But I was digging down. Ah, I'll have to check. But in any case, there's the portal. Sweet! Yeah, definitely guys. We found one pearl while we were digging down. That must be the last pearl. It went straight down when we threw it there. So you can dig them back out. Or it was one of the inventory update glitches that happened here and there. But I doubt it. The one went into the side of the rock. I don't think we found that one. But the last one we threw went straight down. And, yeah, I think we picked it up. I couldn't see it on the footage because I was not constantly recording, but um, I could see it, like, next scene I got eight, so I must have picked it up while I was digging down. So that's good to know. I didn't know that. I thought then they're lost for good. But it doesn't help us much. We need one more to complete the portal. Um, I laddered and partially derp towered up, and I'd say... We did a lot again this episode. We should call it an end. I need to sail back to the main island. Should be in that direction. Get one more Eye of the Ender. And I think we should be able to complete the portal then. And start farming XP soonish. Oh yeah, pistons are there. I need... I There's stuff we need. But we, we are getting there. <laughs> Alright. So I hope you liked this episode. Thanks a lot for all your support often see the comments on the other videos saying more world tour more world tour but hey come on long episodes often over 40 minutes a lot of progress you don't have to watch it in one go you can watch it uh, watch half of it one day um, second part of it the other day so you basically get two videos you know what i mean you know i can't do magic that's how we do it with the world tour always feel free to leave feedback see ya